Jim Guitarmson from Sodak Labs and I want to talk today a little bit about pericarp damage in seed corn. This is a test that we're having more and more farmers ask us to perform on their seed corn. And we're right in the process of putting out a flyer on it so people can understand it a little better. But I thought I'd start with just the diagram of a, the rough diagram of a, of a seed corn kernel. So what we're doing in a pericarp damage test is we're looking at um, damage to the pericarp. And the pericarp is basically the seed coat on the kernel. So here we have our endosperm area and then we have our, our what we would call our germ face here. So there's structures under the pericarp here. We have the scutellum and then we have, you know, uh, really our shoot is right here. We have some mesocotyl area there. You get your seminal roots from this area right here. The brace roots all grow out of mesocotyl. And then we have our, our coleoriza, our, our root cap, and our actual uh, root tissue, you know, within here. And the coleoptile here is what helps get our leaves out of the ground. So our leaves, our growing point is right here where we have all our leaves forming that are going to be, you know, part of our corn plant. So we want to get the existing leaves out of the ground with the coleoptile. So there's really two types of damage that we see in pericarp damage tests. There's severe damage, which when we get a crack right through the embryonic axis here. So what could have happened to those leaves and that coleoptile is they could have gotten split by that impact. So what happens is a lot of times your leaves are, are damaged and they come out the side of the coleoptile underground and you're not going to have a plant that makes it to the surface. If it makes it to the surface, it may be several days behind the other plants. And it probably won't become a productive plant in your, in your cornfield. Now, that's the severe damage is right here. Right. Then we have um, two other damage ratings. We have slight. When we get some tearing of the pericarp, like right along here, and we have to realize there's a pedestal tip that's into the cob here. This zone right here is your black layer. And it's normal for that to be black right there. On some hybrids, this pedestal tip is left in the cob during shelling and you can see the black layer. But the pericarp can still be very intact. If we tear the kernels out of the cob, say the cob is still a little wet, and we have to tear them out, they don't shell out nicely, sometimes we get tearing right here. And if it's in the very lower part of the germ face, like, you know, right here, we call this slight. And then we can get medium pericarp tearing where the tearing is going up further on the germ face. And then, you know, we would rate that as, as medium. So, but the damage is just along here. It's not in the embryonic axis here in the shoot or the root. That would be severe damage when our cracking or damage is right here. Medium is just on the margin here. Slight is here. And we can have none or no damage or none. And that, that is like, it's a perfect kernel. There's no, um, tearing, abrasion damage, and there's no impacts. And that's but we count out um, 50 seeds, four reps of 50 seeds, and then we, we actually uh, put these seeds in a dye, and I know you won't be able to really see this, but um, what the dye does is it penetrates the pericarp, and will get staining. Okay, when, when we're evaluating this, you know, we take the kernels and put them under three to five power after they've been stained, and we look for damage. And there's a number of kernels here that show no damage. And then we'll see a few that might have just a slight bit of damage near that pedestal 
tip. So that's slight damage. And we put out a rating with a percent of, of no damage, slight, medium, and severe. And that's basically how we do the pericarp damage test on corn. If you have any questions, give us a call, and I appreciate your time, and uh, thank you.